none of our real GC guys are in form. So that Molimer's not going to come, neither is Port or Chicone. So we've got we've got Dagan Kolb and Machete. They're very strong two sprinters. Alex Kirsch is going to come as well. Um, and then our climbers for the race, I think we've got Brambia, A and Conchi. So so like I said, we've got some strong sprinters, Dagan Kolb and Machete. Machete was meant to go to the Giro, but he was injured. Uh, so he's just kind of coming back for the Vuelta instead. That was kind of his change in plans. Conchi, A and Brambia on the climbs. And then we've got Ryan and Lopez going to his home Grand Tour at 22. He's not, he's not very good yet, but he can try and help us out. So I'm actually quite excited to see what we can do with this team, to be fair. I cancelled the contract of Blake Quick, the sprinter we'd signed. I just didn't really think he fit the team. And instead, I have brought in Mr. Quinn Simmons, who obviously Trek got in real life. So excited to see him. Only 18 join the team. That should be a good one. Uh, but apart from that, everything else has stayed the same with the transfers. I don't know, Mario. I really don't know. He's Maybe he's injured. That must be it. That must be it. And I, I didn't realise. Yeah, of course, he's still injured. He's still injured. I forgot about that completely. So Mario solved the mystery of the missing Nicholas A. Uh, and oh, that's really a real shame because, as you can see, he's going to peak for this race. All right, we'll take Richie Port instead. Seventh place at least. Well, I believe we got seventh place at the tour with Richie Port. We did indeed. So try and go for a top five or something. Like he's in, he's in not, he's in terrible form. Let's be honest. But we'll, we'll take Richie Port. Why not? Let's do that as Raphael. As uh, suggested, so we're on extreme. Let's get into let's get into it, shall we? Stage one, 18k time trial, and it's a team time trial, which I'm not expecting to do very well in at all. Let's get into it. Let's see how this goes. 14 riders to go. I do want to take a look at the start list, so let's do that right now. So quick step have Anna Philippe and Jungles really, Knox as well, Roglic is here, Grunewagen, Peter Sagan, Shackman, Formolo, nice team for Bora. Caleb Ewan, Lotto C. Dow's leader. We've got GVA, Nairo Man for Movistar. No real leader for Ineos, to be fair. They've got Quieto, Moscon, Sivakov, I guess, is their GC guy. Godou is here for FDJ. Dan Martin, Matthews. Okay, so to be fair, with regards to the GC, I don't see many massive leaders. I see Quintana, Roglic. Um, and after that, it's very open, isn't it? Alaphilippe, Haig, maybe. So maybe we can have a decent result with Port, despite his poor fitness. I wish you could see the seconds before you start, which you can't for some reason. But anyhow, we're underway now. Port's going to have to try and pull a bit longer. I mean, we, we really didn't prepare for a GC race at this, at the Vuelta. So certainly going to be difficult, I would say. Because we haven't bought any time trialists to help out Richie Port. Um, all right, I think that's fine. Let's go uh, times two. See where we are at the first split, which we're coming up to very quickly, actually. Here we go. It's Bora leasing at the beginning. Uh, Port's used a lot of energy. Maybe we'll have to lower him, actually. We'll see how that goes. And we are first at the first time split. That is... A surprise, to say the least. I really can't see us holding this through the time trial. Here we go. Downhill into the next time check. I think we can put Port back up to 18. That should be okay. Even 20. And here we go. Down to 7th. Back to reality after that crazy first time check. Again, really not expecting a particularly strong result here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and use Port as much as possible. And we'll put Machete on the back. Same with Lopez. Same with Conchi, because I do want Port to finish in uh, the front as one of the front kind of four or five riders. And Port's doing a stellar job here. He's pretty much done now, so he pulls over. That's important. Brambia dragging us to the line. Come on, Brambia. Ryan now. The last few hundred meters, and we lose 31 seconds. Okay. Didn't expect it to be good. That wasn't quite as bad as I expected. FTJ. Not a good time for them, it would seem. Let's see how uh, 
education first, get on. Go eighth, quick step, very close. This could be the best time. Five seconds down. Katusha now. See where they go. Don't think it's going to be a good one. Down in 11th, Bahrain Merida with uh, Antonio Nibali on the front. They're down in 15th. And that will round it out. And uh, Ineos obviously taking the team time trial. And Teo Gagan Hart in the red jersey. Love to see it. Anyhow, today, a hilly stage into Calpe. I do remember this. I think this is the stage that uh, Quintana won in a breakaway. Um, and there are plenty of gaps on that on that hill there. Alaphilippe, Godou and Shackman the favourites. We don't really have any favourites. Let's get into it, see what we can do. So Lopez is on a plus three day. I'm going to try and go in the breakaway with Lopez here. And we'll try and protect Ports. Let's start like this. I think I'm going to have to use Kirsch to protect Machete as well. Because if we can get Dagan Coble Machete towards the end, that would be great. Any also Yumbo Visma, I mean, those guys... Yeah, with the big three and the big four at Ineos now even. Um, yeah, they can put together insane Tour de France teams. I would I would mention Emmanuel Bookman as well, actually. Emmanuel Bookman is a rider I really rate. Juan Pedro Lopez, the young 22-year-old, at his first Grand Tour, going in the breakaway on stage two alongside Antonio Nibali, Stefan de Bod, YouTube cycling legend, Taylor Finney trying to join up. With his uh, 57 mountain. And let's try and get in that KOM jersey with the Lopez in this stage. Not sure if he can win it over the entire race. But um, yeah, it would be awesome to take it on this one. You can see Finney struggling a lot. as more counter attacks here. And yeah, I'm trying to rebuild that yellow with Lopez. We're struggling to do that at the moment. All right, we're coming into that climb now. And it's going to be difficult. We don't really have the attributes to win this at all. But we're going to give it a go. And this is going to play a pretty big role in who can get into that KOM jersey. 3k to go now. O'Connor, probably the favourite. Maybe Aaron Buru. He's a very punchy rider, Aaron Buru. Got a good sprint on him. Okay, we've got 2.5k to go. Let's try and move up in this group a little bit with Lopez. We can do. Here we go. Pace increases. I'll take Gamay's wheel. Try and save a bit of red. And it is Alex Aaron Buru on the front. The two Dimension Dates guys at the back. Oh, this is going to be tough. We'll go at maybe 800, 700. Right, let's see if we can come around them with Lopez, which we do, but we're, oh, we're going we're gonna to die before the line, I think. Come on, Lopez. Oh, we're not going to take it. We're going to come third. Great effort, and we get a single point with Juan Pedro Lopez. And Antonio Nibali takes first place there. I would say Doomland. He's a better time trialist, and I think they're pretty similar in the mountains. That would be my, my shout. I don't know what you guys think about that. Who you'd rather have? Geraint Thomas or Tom Doomlan? I feel bad saying that as a Brit, but I think Doomland's an absolute monster. He's unreal. Anyhow, let's try and grab... Oh, I think there's only... Oh, we do get one point again. I don't think we're going to get third this time. I think Gamay's going to take that. Only fourth for Lopez. Bit of a shame. No points on this uh, second climb of the day, but we stay at the front. Oh, and we've got a big moment. This is stage two of La Vuelta. Um, and it's the 2019 parkours as our young Italian climber goes down. Oh, thank God he continues. And we're in this group of no real GC favourites. Let's try and relay with them. But yeah, you can see the riders at the race. It's not the strongest in the GC. Roglic and Quintana, I would say. There's Alaphilippe and... Uh, Got to do a few other guys, but it's not the strongest with regards to the GC. We're going for the sprint and the uh, breakaways more, I would say. I'll relay with these guys that maybe I'm just going to have to set my own pace. Like, look at this. They just, they just don't want to work with me for some reason. I'm going to pace my, my way up this climb with Lopez. We'll follow Nibley to start. We'll go on 87. We do need to be very careful now with our main guys. I'll try and pace 90 the whole way, or 88 with Machete and Dagen Kolb. Rambia and Port should be able to stay here on a bit lower. Or oh, it's going to be tough for Dagen Kolb and Machete. Or oh, it's going to be really tough. I, think, I don't think they're going to survive this, sadly. 
up the road. It's Stefan de Bod taking those points. Lopez flying up the road now, though. That is great to see. He, he will get second there. So that puts us still in fourth. And let's try and hold out with Lopez. So that's really strong riding by Lopez. And you can see, let's uh, sit up. And we have managed it just about. That is very good to see. Machete and Dagenkolb still in this group. So I think it's probably in our interests to bring this breakaway in. Even Kirsch is here to lead them out. That is perfect. Lopez is going to try and catch the bod up the rows. And maybe we can fight this in the breakaway with uh, Stefan de Bod. Wow, that would be quite the start to the race. We'll sit in with these guys. If the other teams want a chance, they're going to have to bring us in. See if Lopez can catch him. Which he does. Use some energy gels. 6k to go. Pretty tense. Very flat finish. Oh, how do we play this? The bod's attacking. He's attacking us. Stefan de Bod trying to attack away for the stage. We have a few guys coming in behind. I think we can try and counter him here. Oh, this is crazy. I don't know how to play it. Let's attack him. Lopez attacking Stefan de Bod and Juan Pedro Lopez going for the stage here in his home grand tour. Behind, we're going to prepare the sprint. Let's try and sprint with Dayton Kolb. But Lopez, can he hold on? Oh, it's going to be close. I think we might have it. I think we might have it. Do we have the win here with Juan Pedro Lopez? Yes, we do. Juan Pedro Lopez wins stage two of La Vuelta. Dagan Kolb will get second. And I think we're going to get a 1-2-3 in the sprint. But Lopez takes it from the breakaway. What a win right there. I can't believe we held out. I really can't. There were plenty of, uh, of attacks. But the pace just wasn't there in the, uh, in the Peloton. Wow, that was a crazy start to the race. That was crazy. Cayman Zind82. Thank you for following. Appreciate that. Didn't quite get the KOM jersey. That goes to uh, Gamai. And Lopez in the green jersey for Track Sega Fredo. Unreal. Unreal stuff. And you can see we've got the likes of Ewan, Grunewagen, Peter Sagan, Lamar, Tunison. Okay, so we've got Ewan and Grunewagen. And after that, no real pure sprinters that are elite. We've got no uh, Sam Bennett, for example, or, or Ackerman. There he is in the green jersey at his first Grand Tour. Okay, I think um, I'm really not sure whether to attack with him. And Machete and Dane Cobb feeling good. So let's just uh, keep everyone in this group. I think that's the best thing. So Lopez, Conchi and Ryan are going to absolutely hammer this. Obviously, I'm not going to try and drop Machete or uh, obviously Port. A few guys are feeling this. Right, I'm just going to uh, put Brambea over the top on 95. Let's do that quickly. Come on, Brambea. Push it over, push it over. Okay, that's a good job. That's a good job by the team there. So, we've, we've tried. We've tried. You can see our guys are feeling it a lot. He's out the back. I doubt anyone really. Holdegaard, to be fair, is a decent sprinter. Banaschek as well. Wolves is a decent sprinter. So we haven't really dropped anyone, to be fair. We gave it a go. But not to be, sadly. So the other team's chasing desperately. And it's Lascano, Van Rensburg. Jans Van, Rens uh, Van Rensburg, not... Reinhardt, and uh, the French guy, who I'm not going to try and say his name, is it Champuzan? I, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not going to do that again. Anyhow, 8k to go. I think we're going to bring them in here. We do have this very short, not so steep hill towards the end. Be careful of that, of course. I think this was the only corner. After this, it's pretty straight See the line. So let's up this into the final 5k. Coming into that final climb, they will be caught here. Caught in a decent position. Here we go. Let's go up to 99 right now with Kiel Ryan. See if we can get our second stage win in a row. The breakaway have now been caught. Try and hold it, Ryan. Try and hold it. Right, let's go 99 with 
Alex Kirsch. We do have a slightly downhill section. So we can probably start sprinting right now. Dagen Kolb can maybe go 1.7 and Machete into the final kilometer. Let's see if Matteo Machete can challenge for this win. But Alaphilippe is coming. Oh my words, he's going to take it. It surely can't be Alaphilippe. Boas and Hagen takes it. What a crazy sprint. Boas and Hagen takes the win. Alaphilippe second. Machete was third. And we did use pretty much all his red to be fair. Wow. Edvel Boas and Hagen. Yeah, I knew it was downhill, so I did go slightly early, and we did use all our reds. But Edvel Bersenhagen, I can't believe it. So, we're after the climb now, and this is, let's see the map. I rarely use the map to its potential, I'll be honest. I really should use it more. But I'm going to put Reinian, Hmm, who can we use? Reinian and Lopez, really. I guess we can use Conchi as well. He's not a good flat rider, though. So we'll put these guys to the front and I'm going to try and potentially create some, create some echelons here. Who do we go for in the sprint guys? We've got Dagenkolb and Machete. Maybe it's uh, Dagenkolb's turn after Machete. He got third, but they're in very, very similar form. I think we go for Dagenkolb today. What do you think? So I didn't really want to burn Kirsch this early, but it seems we're going to. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're creating some, uh, it's Bora on the front at the moment, doing their best to create some havoc. And here we go, here we go. It's all happening now. Go 99. 59 riders in the front. Seven riders in the front. Here we go, guys. But we're still with the sprinters. We're still with the damn um, sprinters. You can see in this group, I'm just following the other GC guys. Port is getting pushed way too far back though. Way too far back. So 6k to go now. We've really created some gaps. 44 in the front. Let's try and come to the front with Port. Remember, we do have that, that corner in the final. So six on the front again. Demar's having to push up to us. That's perfect. Right, Port's in the front now. I'll just stick him on a 70 or something. All right, we'll just follow Sagan with Port now into the final 2.5k. There is that corner. Sagan being led out very, very early by Maxi Shackman. We'll take his wheel, shall we? Nope, we'll go now with Dagen Cole. We've gone way too early though, I think. Way, way too early today. That corner didn't really have its true effect and it's a, it's a poor result. I think we're going to get third or fourth. Ewan gets the win. Sagan seconds. We're going to be fourth with Dagen Kolb. Not the best, not the best sprint by me, but you can see absolute chaos here. Absolute chaos. I don't think there'll be any gaps. We shall see, but many guys struggling a lot there. It really takes away from it because I feel there should have been some gaps there, but you can see there's literally none. No gaps at all. Anyhow, fourth place is not the worst result. There were third and a fourth so far for Dagen Kolb and the old uh, Mateo Machete. And it's time for the GC battle to start. Quintana, Roglic and David Godou is the third favourite. It's really between Quintana and Roglic. Roglic has to be the massive favourite for this race. What's there? I'm glad I brought him, so thanks to uh, you guys for making me bring him. <laughs> I think we're okay here with Port. Let's try and move up a little bit. Right, 20k to go in this stage. Who can we use? Machete and Dagan are just gonna, they're gonna come back in this group. I think Nicola Conchi is gonna be the, the final helper today for uh, Richie Port. Hmm, okay, we've got Brambia. I'm going to try with Lopez to start. Brambia can stay to the front. Ryan can just protect Dagan Kolb or something, or Machete even. I think we're fine like this. Kirsch, Kirsch is not going to offer anything on this climb. He can protect Dagan Kolb, and so we're really separating our team here into Brambia, Lopez, Port, and Conchi, and then the, the sprinters. 
So let's see what we can do on this climb. I'm going to try and take it steady uh, with regard to the game speed. I think the break have it. They've got five minutes and it's Ben O'Connor going for, for the stage early on that climb ahead of Lastra. O'Connor, the big favourite, I would say. So we're in a very good position here with Port. We'll happily pay 60. Lopez can use his energy gel. So the pace is nowhere. I'm going to up this to 75 with Port. We'll just keep the pace, pace going because... He's on a plus two day, may as well try and take advantage. 75 now. And DBR Mario, we've just started it by the time I've seen your message at least. And Lopez is going to really struggle to help Port at this tempo. But we're going to try and sit on the front with Richie Port. It's not too long, about 10k in length. 11k. I can't actually remember how this race, how this stage played out in real life. Do you guys remember the the Vuelta last year? So here we go. Attacks going off. It's Martin, Godzu, and Wellens. I'm not going to try and follow because Port doesn't have acceleration. He doesn't have sprint. He's a rider who likes a steady tempo, I would suggest. Oh man, Brambia. This is why I put Conchi on his wheel because you can see I'm pacing with Brambia and he just can't. He can't stay at that. He can't stay with them at the front. Lopez is done now. I'm going to have to protect uh, Richie Port with Brambia. That's fine. And no one off the front still. We'll keep this pace going. Russo, Martin now attacking. Here we go. We've got Brambia now. Great job by Lopez, to be fair. He's had a great Vuelta, obviously. Okay, 4K to go. We're looking good now. We can up this, I think. Up the roads. Lastra and O'Connor look good to take the stage. It's Mike Woods attacking from this group. We're, gonna, we're just going to pace on 84, I think. Uh, you're right, Lobas. I think this is the Madrazo stage after his team car tried to knock him off his bike. I think we're looking very good here with Port. I think we can definitely stay in the front at least, if nothing else. Up uh, the roads. I mean, it's coming down. It's three minutes now. And it's a great job by Nicola Conchi and Brambia today. That's up port 288. I could, I could probably take someone's wheel here. I'm going to try and come away from this side of the roads where we're getting blocked in slightly. Up to 90. 27 in this group. Woods is done. Oh, it's a strong attack. Let's go 95. Up the roads, Lastra trying to hold on for the stage. We're coming with Port, you know. It's a very strong ride by Richie Port here. We'll go to 99. Lastra, I think we'll take it ahead of Alaphilippe. We're going to beat Roglic today. I've potentially used my energy slightly too early, but I'm very happy with that performance. Alaphilippe second. We get third, second of the GC guys with Richie Port. We drop Roglic. We drop Roglic. I mean, Shackman has had a great result. I'm, I'm more than happy with that result. What, what, a, what a start for Richie Port. Quintana's well down. Quintana is well down. Okay. What a result. Sivakov's well down. Yeah. I mean, Alaphilippe is 76 mountain. He did very, very well in that one. What happened to Primoz? What happened to Primoz? And Quintana? What happened to Nairo, man? Dunbar, very strong. Dunbar, Friday, and Shackman. Shackman, maybe undercover GC guy. So the new GC, Alaphilippe, Port, Dunbar. We're just ahead of Dunbar and Roglic. So due to that poor time trial, we're only just ahead of them, but second place it is. We take that for sure. Okay, I think we're good to go. I will try and go in the break with uh, Kiel Reinion here. He's not too good at much these days. He's more of an all-rounder with a decent sprint. And we'll see what we can do with him in that breakaway. If nothing else, he can help out our leaders later in the stage. I think we're pretty much okay apart from that. 3k to go. Of course, we do have this downhill, which does suit Reinion because he's not the best climber, but he's a decent sprinter. Here we go. Last draw on the attack. We can follow these Spaniards. 
Can we stay with him? Luckily, it's not too steep here, as I mentioned. So I think we're going to have a good time with this. We'll sprint now with uh, Kiel Rhinium. We're looking good. There's three points available, but Kiel Rhinium does take them. A very good start to the stage right there. Okay, I think we can up this slowly towards 85 with Kiel Rhinium. 1.5k to go. I'm surprised no one has gone for this yet. We're in a good position. Here we go. Tax now. Try and go to 99. Let's just try and sprint for this. I think we can potentially try and get these points with Kiel Rhinium. We'll attack. Antonio Nibali looking good though. Hopefully we have the sprint over the top. I don't think so. Oh, that was very close. And did we get them again? No, we got second. Five points though for Kiel Rhinium. Up to six. Great start to the stage. Yeah, Bogan. I think the high mountains is what he really struggles with. On the on the hills, he's he's so he's super strong, and he was super strong. And I think he can cope with mountains about 10k. But when it gets to like 20k mountains in Grand Tours, that's where he really struggles. I think. Try and move up a bit with Port Machete. Can just stay on 85. And get dropped for all, for all I care. So. In a good position with most of our guys in this uh, in this peloton. You can see Ryan has been dropped. I, I was trying to drop him. I don't think I mentioned it, but we're go we're go we're going to try and uh, help out in this group now with uh, Kiel Ryan. Extra body. Ninety nine riders as well in this group. Really tough tempo on this penultimate climb of the day. And Paul is really struggling. We're going to have to up the tempo here a lot. Potentially an error to stay so far back in that group. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, Lopez is done. Obviously. So we're back in the front, at least with Port here. Okay, um, that was a bit of a mess for me, but we're in the front now with all our main main climbers at least. Dagen Kolb's actually got the most yellow left. He can probably help out. I don't know if he can get the end on this plus four day. Maybe I should be thinking about Dagenkolb for the stage here, guys. Just 50 riders in this group, guys. Lo uh, Lachlan Morton attacks. Just a few guys left from that early breakaway. Um, and can Big John t challenge for this one? I don't know. I really don't know. Still two minutes to make up, it's worth noting. We'll try it, Ziga. I'll give it a go. I'll stick him on Port's wheel. Because I'm assuming I can get port to the end here. Right. I'm going to do this actually. Brambeer is going to give himself up today. You see Brambeer is actually doing better than port. So it's going to be really hard to get a good result with port at this, at this race. But we're doing it at the moment. I'm going to try and pace on the front though with Conchi and Ryan. Because we can use them up I think. It's 47 here. Been a tough day so far. Lucas Hamilton, Nieve out the back, Madwa, he's a good good rider. Izagiri as well. Hagen, some good riders out the back here, guys. Malaz, Amador. Anyhow, let's focus on the front now. Into the final 10k. I think we can bring those guys in. Yeah, Brambia is. So it's a shame to use him as a domestique, which I'm doing currently and potentially will be doing. I'd quite like to try and go for KOM or something with him. And I think he's a good, a good guy to go for a stage win as well, for sure. But for now, he's in domestique role, in this stage at least. Ryan, see, this is where we dropped him. I didn't think the breakaway had a great chance at the stage. And he can really help pull them in here. I'm trying to conserve Port's energy, but now 5k to go. It's time to increase that, I think. We use the energy gels. And Dagen Kolb, if, oh, look at that. That's a block from Jungles. That was an intentional block, I'm, sh I'm certain. So Tim Wellen's on the attack. <laughs> He's blocked though. <laughs> okay, so Ryan has done a beautiful job there. So we have attacks. We're gonna try and follow, if we can, with Richie Port. Formlow's done. The breakaway's still up the road, but they're about to be caught here. Here we go. 3k to go. I'm going to try and keep the tempo steady so Dagen 
and potentially sprint for it. It's maybe too steep for him, but we'll try. I could try and attack, you know, with Dagenkolb or even Brambia. Wellens on the attack though. Let's not, let's not, let's stick, stick to the original plan. Potentially get Dagenkolb to the end. It's a strong attack by Wellens though. Tim Wellens going for the stage here. Okay, I feel like this. Dagenkolb can sprint for it now into the final 600s. Is he strong enough? Big Dagenkolb versus Alaphilippe. Oh, it's really close. Have we lost to Alaphilippe? Oh, we're going to lose to Alaphilippe. That is heartbreaking. Dagenkolb gave it a real go there, but Alaphilippe in the red jersey takes the stage. Damn. Damn, I really wanted that one, actually. I think we did as good as we could. I could have tried an attack with uh, one of the climbers. But you can see Brambia feeling really good at this race. There's 15 in the front. Martin nowhere. De Plus nowhere. I see he was dropped. Mike Woods struggling a lot. Dunbar, Soler is gone. Third place in the GC, Dunbar. Sivakov, nowhere at this race. Quieto. So, some very strong riders went out the back there. Haig as well. You can see there were some gaps. So, Godou lost time. Martin, De Plus. Only 10 riders at the front here. So the new GC, guys spreading out. We have Shackman. Could Shackman be a GC guy with 75 Mountain? He's looking good at the moment. I'm not sure though. I think Omar Friday will go down as well. Let me know if there's any issues as always. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Our first subscriber. Would you believe it? Sir Benji Narson. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, hope you enjoyed that little little second tribute. Um, oh, I don't know what to say now. Cheers, mate. I appreciate that a lot. Um, anyhow, stage seven. I'll do that in the loading screen, perhaps. We've got very mountain. Well, it says mountainous. It's not long, but average of 12% in the end. We'll see what we can do with port. Let's get it. Let's get into it. Will they, will they let Brambia go in the break? Um, I'll, I'll try and attack with Brambia here. Port a minus one day, that is not ideal, is it? Not ideal at all. But we do have some nice race days apart from that, to be fair. I forgot to mention, but Brambia has just hit his fitness peak, as well as Conchi as well. So here we go. Let's try and get in the break here. There's a few guys, actually. Don't see any reason not to. Up to 6.5%. Up to 8% now. No attacks just yet. I think Lopez doing a very nice job here for Gianluca Brambia. And we can now go up to 99. Nibali's trying it, but I think we're looking okay. Into the final 600, we'll try a attack now. And Brambia, I think, is going to take these points pretty comfortably. Nice job there by uh, Gianluca. Let's try and get some more later in the stage as well. So, I think Brambi is looking pretty good again, leading from the front. No one wants to come past us. Or, or maybe can't come past us. Here we go. Two riders trying it now. We'll go to 99. And I think 700 meters we can try and sprint. And to be fair, I think we're looking okay again. Do you take these points and we do it again. Brambia. I think this, this is a good goal for Brambia. Up to fifth already now. To try and take that KOM jersey at this race. Machete's fine here, that's fine. So Brambia at the front, pace is ramping up now. I think we can try and go 84 again on this climb, just 15 left in this group. About to get steep and yeah, it's been such a fast day at the moment. A few more guys getting dropped it seems. Here we go, attacks now going off. I've followed the bod this time to be fair. Try and conserve our energy very, very slightly. We'll go now. It's just three points available. Can we try and take them? Oh, I think we'll get seconds behind the bods, but up to thirds. So it's been a good day for Brambia so far. Certainly take that. And look at this. Our guys are just they're gone. Attack's going off. I'm, I'm fine to wait for the peloton now. Don't think they have a chance at the stage. We'll just maintain, to be fair. And there you go. Cool, so now we can use Brambia potentially later in the stage as well. So here we go, the pace is 
increasing now and we do have attacks we do have attacks but so we have attacks from Roglic and Dan Martin right let's be aware come on Port regen some yellow oh it's difficult it's really difficult so at this point I'm going to go like this and just put the rest of the guys on auto we'll just focus on Port Brambia and Conchi now. Here we go into that final climb. I think we can come in pretty hot and hopefully we can not lose any time. And in fairness, the Boz has a great chance at this stage. See how he does. Oh no. What has happened there? Oh, that is such a bad block. Get out of the way. Okay, it's not a good start to the climb. Um, I was meant to do that. Not a good start to the climb at all. This is going really badly. Port is struggling so much. Do you stay in this group? Hey, Lobas. Bass. Hey, mate. You join us at a uh, difficult time in the stage because Port is struggling a lot. The Boz, I think, is going to get caught. Come on, Richie. Come on, Richie. 1k to go. We're going to have the yellow. We're running really low on red, though. Mm, yeah, it's a really tough day for Port. We can just go like this. Let's try and uh, sprint with Richie Port on 99 it. Come on, Port. Up the road. It's going to be a win for Roglic. He's going to take some big time back. Jump us in the GC. Quintana second. Alaphilippe Godou. And Port is going to really struggle today, I'm afraid. Hopefully we can finish in this group with these guys. Mm, let's see. I think we might be in the group behind, though. It's going to be close. Let's hope we're, this is all one group and it's just Roglic ahead. But strong finish by Port, to be fair. Really tough time, uh, climb on a minus day. Um, but I do think we finished in that, in that second group on the road, which we were quite lucky to do. But uh, we take it. We take it. There you go, it's all really one group behind just Roglic taking some time. So Roglic gaining some time back and we're still, or, or go down to third. That's okay, that's okay. Thanks for coming, guys. We'll think about the transfer. We'll think about if Mitch Docker is a suitable option <laughs> to bring in, if nothing else, for his podcast skills. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming today, guys. Massively appreciate it. I can see we're at 13 viewers at the moment, so appreciate you all. And like I say, I'll potentially be live again, continuing, uh, continuing with the router later on. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you in a bit. Cheers, guys.